Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about square invoices and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you create a free credit card authorization form in square invoices? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to create a credit card authorization form anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you accept credit card payments, you know that sometimes your clients will file a dispute and renege on their payment. And if you have a credit card authorization form on file, it can help you win those disputes. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in the Square Invoices app. It's this blue and white one here on the top center. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I'm going to go ahead and open my Square Invoices app now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my Square Invoices. This is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to create a free credit card authorization form, you need to click on this more button down here on the bottom right. It's a hamburger menu, three horizontal lines. Once you do that, you will see a drop down menu and you want to click on this button here called contracts. Okay, once you do that, you will see all the contracts that you've already created inside of Square Invoices. However, to create a free credit card authorization form, click on this plus icon here on the top right. Okay, so here you're going to see all the different templates that are available inside of Square Invoices. But today we're going to go ahead and create a credit card authorization form. So you want to click on this one right here. Okay, next you do need to add in the contacts who you're going to be sending this credit card authorization for. So first you want to add the person. So click on add a recipient. Okay, next you're going to see a list of all of your customers. So you can search right here. Now, now, if your customer has not been added yet, you can go ahead and click on this plus icon and then add that recipient or your customer in. For me, I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here. Okay, so now you can see my customer is added in here as a recipient of my credit card authorization form. I'm going to click on this blue next button here on the top right. Okay, next you're going to pull up a image of your contract, which is your credit card authorization form. So you need to sign this form also. So what you're going to do is go ahead and just add in your name. Okay, as you type it in, it's going to start signing for you. Okay, once it's done processing, now you're going to be able to see a image of the credit card authorization form. Let me scroll down and show you what that looks like. Okay, so here is an image of the credit card authorization form. So your name, also your customer's name is going to be on the top along with their email. And then what they're going to receive is they'll need to initial right here. And then also they'll need to enter in the card holder name, credit card number, expiration date, three digit security code, and the billing zip code for that card. And then down here towards the bottom, it's going to ask for their name and their signature. So as you can see, you do need to enter in your customer's information. This is not going to be a flat form that you just print out. You'll need to send this out for each one of your customers. Now, the good thing is you can send this out to 20 different customers at a time. So if all that looks good to you, go ahead and click on next. Okay. Next, you get an option to go ahead and share this contract. So if you're going to send it through email, you can type a message. Hey, this is going to be for the credit card authorization for our monthly payments. If you don't want to do that, you want to click right here and now you can go ahead and download this PDF and then you can email it to them or you can go ahead and print it out if they happen to be inside your office, if you have a physical location. And then also you can go ahead and copy the URL and just text it to your customer and they can go ahead and fill that out. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to get a free credit card authorization form with your Square Invoices app, that is the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.